Welcome friends. In this tutorial, I will show how to create an authenticator system with Max3 and View3 and with Pinia for state management. So let's see what I what we are going to do. So uh, this is the registration section. I will avoid this because uh, look at that. This is the login part. And uh, if we pass this credential, uh, email 1501 and password is then if we hit the login, then this is the login API and uh, for this authentication system, we will create this uh, credential. We will use this credential. So uh, if you, uh, so I'm going to use this email and then password is password, uh, password is password. If you use this wrong credential, uh, then we're not going to log in over that. So I am going to use this credential. So let's the password is password and then if we hit the login button then look at that we are logged in and this is the profile section maybe 150101 and id is one and look at that uh, my id was uh, one and then everything is now just email and api token is there and this is the custom token based api authentication and now look at that if i inspect the browser tab and just go to application and just local storage open the local storage and this token is there and, and i use this token to make this authentication system with nax 3 and view 3 with pinia for state management so now uh, if we refresh this page look at that if we refresh this page and um, window is not defined so okay uh, if you refresh this page, uh, Axios, and we are going to use another system is uh, to avoid this error. Uh, if process dot client, so the process if dot process dot client, then just execute this code. And now, if we refresh this page. We refresh this page look at that the error is gone so now if we refresh this page we are still there and the page is also working and this is look at that the, uh, also the api request is successful and the authorization token br token is there with a request so look at this profile 200 and home is also 200 uh, all is working and now if we log in look at that uh, our application token is there but if we logged in our token is gone and we are login page okay so let's see how uh, i create this uh, system with nux3 with view3 and pinia and backend is backend api with laravel 10 so i'm not going to discuss uh, laravel code just i will show you the authentic uh, authentication code with nux3 so the first page is login page so let's see the login page this is the login page and the page is a home page index page so you know that or we don't need any routing in nux3 just uh, inside pages all the routing is automatically work so if you don't know how nux3 routing is working so just google it and see how it works so of course i'm not going to discuss this uh, routing feature here so look at that uh, this is our index page uh, actually login page because uh, there is no login uh, we are using this index as a login page because we are uh, root page so uh, when the page is logged in that uh, i am ensuring that the, this is the text input the custom component uh, and i am passing some props dynamics props with error and if any error is happened i am showing this error uh, just uh, ensure that paste at the rate paste.com and if we pass any uh, wrong credential it will see the actual email server side um, validation the selected email is invalid and this email is it is coming from a server side so that's why i use this uh, you know, here and then uh, if the password and email is not there the values don't disable then i disable the login button so i'll just see uh, if i remove the value and then look at that our login button is disabled and if i use this uh, credential uh, 
it says uh, if I pass the credential email gmail.com and then the password is password and look at that our password is enable and now we're gonna hit it we can hit it so this is the login button and then uh, this is the sign up form and this is the next link to go to the uh, register if there is any login uh, account there is any the, if you don't have any account then you can visit this page and just create an account and if you already have an account then you can log in so uh, this is the login and then look at that uh, i just use the auth layout or layout is there the component text input and layouts auth layout i'm use this auth layout and then uh, i just use the slot because we need to pass the our component data uh, just our content section within uh, with the slot section this is the slot part inside the auth layout so ne next then we, we use the user store uh, then the store is uh, store and user store is there and then i'm just here declared the some state and th that is id full name email and api token and then uh, i just use the axios uh, provider that is config axios is there so uh, and then uh, if we uh, when i hit the login button then the api this endpoint is called then i pass the email and the password and if successfully logged in then i set the local storage set the item token into the local storage and then and i just uh, assign this dynamic value inside this, uh, into this state and then uh, register is also is there and get user is also is there just like i then logout is there i just hit the logout api and then reset the state to empty the uh, previous state data so uh, this is the our user state using pinia uh, look at that I, we just define store from pinia if you don't know how pinia is work then we just you can visit a uh, pinia then pinia is a state management uh, tools uh, like qx and this is very uh, uh, nice i think because uh, using qx we need to uh, you need to call some more uh, step in, uh, and using pinia uh, we just uh, do it using two types of state look at that just state and action then we can uh, get the value or we can hit the action easily using pinia so uh, now look at that if we hit the login button then uh, we are logged in now this is our home page and this is our profile page so when we go into the profile page and uh, now if we try to visit the uh, login page look at that i am uh, still the admin page so redirect it into the uh, admin and look at that we are going to register to visit because we are now logged in so it is not possible to visit the login uh, register page so look at that it's working fine and still we are uh, admin page because we are logged in so uh, this is not a good practice to give the allow the user to visit the register page so now uh, our every state i have discussed so let's see the uh, just profile page or admin index page if, when you visit the admin page so we want to show the email dynamically so how we can show it just home and then the email is there welcome dynamic email is there so i just use the store use user state uh, just and this is the use user our this is the user state so use this like that uh, index and then we pass it uh, to store to ref uh, we have to pass the user store user use user store to the uh, store refs if you want to uh, get the state data using object destructuring so we can um, get the email or dynamic state data using object destructuring using store to refs uh, it is uh, a feature we can use or otherwise uh, you can also use a user state or uh, user store uh, directly but if you use store to ref we can use uh, we can get the value dynamically using of the destructuring and if you use store to ref then user store remove the all uh, non reactive data non reactive state and uh, methods from uh, state so we can use this it's very user um, it is uh, optimize your performance application so you can use this store to ref uh, feature then Define page meta. Uh, I have used the middleware, it is blocked out. The middleware is there. 
is logged out and is logged in just uh, i use the user store and to full path and user store dot idea uh, i already said that you can use the store and you can get the data like that or you can use uh, you can get the data like that also using uh, store to ref uh, the is structuring and you can also get the data directly from uh, uh, this like that it's like that okay then if user is already logged in so is if, if already user id is there then navigate to the admin page and if already is user id there if an user is visit the home page or register page then navigate to the admin page so this is the logged in row middle and then logged out middle is also same so on the same just uh, uh, we see the source code i have also uh, shared this uh, git repository so you can see the source code so now this is the thing the pina is what uh, pina is working so this uh, now this is the access part so define next uh, plugin and we just define the base url then using credential first proxy header first to avoid the core errors so if you true then core error is happening core errors happen so now uh, if we use process dot client process dot client then just token the token and then and if token is there then pass the token globally because uh, there is no uh, uh, if only login and register is the private uh, public url and then all the url is uh, private so we need to pass the authorization token to access this home profile section so if uh, token is there in the local storage then pass the token globally with the heaters of axios so no need to pass every time the pair of token in your access request so just look at that automatically the token is uh, associated uh, with this uh, request so this is the admin section uh, and this is the uh, profile section profile part just uh, user store get user and then we can pass the data yeah id email is there already Amra, uh, already uh, we uh, get this data so just store to ref and also uh, just I just call this uh, so you can understand how we can uh, action we can call the action this is the get user and after getting the user the we can define we can assign this state uh, also like that so we can uh, use the data we can use this action so if you want mounted if you use this user store this is our store and then action this is the action get user so now all the user data is there so you can also you can use this uh, user store to fetch the data or uh, show the data or equal out the data or also pin uh, you can use this store to ref to get the dynamic state data using all the restructuring and also this is the register part and this is the index part and the middle layer is there is logged in and also the public url for the middle layer is, is logged in and for our private route, middle is, is locked out. So I already discussed the middle layer, how it what. Then just we define this page meta is there. And I also I installed uh, Tailwind CSS. You can see it from Tailwind something. Uh, it is very simple. You already know how, how to set up this. So I think, uh, and this is also a PWA progressive web app because uh, you can we need to set up this to our uh, uh, admin page. So you can uh, see it. So we can uh, use this uh, authentication in our Nuxt.js application, and this is not using Sanctum or Passport or JWT. This is our custom token-based API authentication using Guard in Laravel. The token is very important. This is not uh, important for which for which service you are going to use. This is uh, we just need the token to authenticate user. It doesn't matter is coming from JWT or Passport time just we need to talk it to authenticate the application then just use this token and pass this token using this uh, login request like that then automatically authentication will be work so this is the nuxjs authentication using view theory with pinia uh, this is very simple so hope uh, you will understand so uh, i will share this github code uh, we have API uh, GitHub repository with you so that you can see the code. Look at that. This is the uh, repository. I will share this repository with you. 
So thank you.